Hello there, viewers at home, aka YouTubers. I am Mario and Sonic, and uh, today I'm going to be doing something different. I am going to be narrating over uh, some of the replays that I've had, rather than talking uh, and doing them live, because you know, I wanna, I want, I feel a little more comfortable doing this until I get a little bit better at a uh, Street Fighter. But uh, right now, I'm just watching uh, my playthrough. Uh, watching my matches, seeing how they're doing right now. Uh, I am building up meter actually, and the other person that's Zangief seems to be thinking that I'm just fooling around. But I am actually building up meter to use some EX moves, and this is uh, the, one of the first matches that I won when I was D plus rank. I'm now a C rank, but this is the one where I started using Ken's uh, step kick, which is uh, forward and medium punch or medium kick at rather. Right there I just messed up. I don't know what I was thinking. I was kind of just in the moment thinking, oh he can't block this. There we go, there's the step kick. Headbutting and I just went into that. I have no idea why. I don't know what I was doing in this match. It looks kind of bleak for me. Can I make it? Am I gonna be able to win? Jump back and ooh, nope, not gonna win this round. That round was won fair and square by. I can't even read his name from here. Super something 32. But um, yeah, here we go. Now we're starting again, and I am kicking. Oh, yep, he just did the punish. Uh, there's my ex hurricane kick. Hurricane kicks in the air more to get a uh, better sense of what's gonna happen. Ooh, caught me in the uh, spinning pile driver. Now he's using the uh, spinning Lariat, the faster version. I have I had no idea how to counter that until I noticed that he was very he was open in uh, and I just did a spinning roundhouse on him, a ducking roundhouse or sweep kick. There's the Shoryuken that saves me. That's been uh, my game saver. Most of the time, every time that I try and play, when I get knocked down, I use that as a last resort. And I am above spamming, so I will not spam Hadoukens and Shoryukens. If, if they're like far away, then I will. Well, I won't spam them. I'll do two at most. I will never do more than two. Unless they're trying to hit me with a Hadouken back, then I'll either FADC, or I will uh, throw a Hadouken to cancel out the first Hadoken that they've thrown. And here he got me with an EX spinning pile driver. He's gonna do that a lot throughout the this replay. Got him with a Shoryuken. I was getting cocky here. Decided to like try and Shoryuken him. Oh! Another spinning pile driver. So I get above him and I'm flying away. He uses his Lariat to his advantage to uh, go through. What's gonna happen now? What's gonna happen? Ooh! Barely missed it. Barely missed about making him lose. There goes his Lariat, and ooh! Sure you can save me yet again. I do win. The result, I think I got an A, B... B there, not an A B A, but an A B B. Now here's up against a C Viper player with, I'm pretty sure zero PP, zero BP. Um, didn't seem like they were the C Viper player. So um, right now, I get her, I get him in the air with the spinning hurricane kick, uppercut, a nice sure you can. Tried to focus attack there, but missed. Did a spinning, did a hurricane kick. Another hurricane kick in the air, got him on the ground. And that's it for round one. That was a very fast round, in my opinion. Only 19 seconds, and I've already done it. Yes, Ken, all right, indeed. Okay, so. Now, it's very hard for me to play and talk at the same time, so I feel like narrating is more comfortable for me at the moment until I get a better amount of confidence because 
when I seem to record, I do not do well. And when I'm off the, when I'm not recording, I am getting three ranked win matches in a row. As you can tell, I got three Pete. I don't get it in this video, and I don't get it when I'm recording, and I don't. It's, it doesn't show up in any of my replays. But I do get three Pete, in fact, and I was close to getting five Pete, but I lost the uh, last match to get it. So uh, this video and one coming up have to be my favorites because I. I really have to thank the Street Fighter 2 Combo Strategies video from the 1990s, about 1993, 1994, because they really did save me. I went back and watched them on YouTube, and I'll give you a link uh, right where Ken's face is. But um, I rewatched them, and I, I did learn once again about uh, T, D, and R. That's uh, actually no D, T, R. Dot, um, distance, time, and, and reaction. Now, I had to go back and learn that because I wasn't very good at Street Fighter 4, and you guys probably know that. But after I watched that video, I did not have any, any long streaks of loses, uh, losses other than about one of uh, lo five loss in rank match. Other than that, uh, the day before I watched the video, I had literally about a 20 rank loss streak. That's devastating for me. So I went back, watched the videos, as I recalled, laughed at the voices that they gave the characters because they didn't have any at the time, and I learned carefully about combo strategies that still actually work to this day in the uh, different Street Fighter games. So I really have to thank that video, and I think you guys should check it out if you're still into Street Fighter and you want to try and get into Street Fighter 4, because online, they... Although they don't have focus attacks back in like 1992 because they didn't think of it at the time, uh, they 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 gave you you know good information about how to deal. It. And this part is my favorite. I get him right there with my ultra, right as he's coming with his um ultra, and bam, last hit of the of the friggin' ultra. The sure you Ripa really saved me. So. That's why I also love that, uh, Ultra. But, going back to Street Fighter 2, that was one of the first games I ever played that was actually a Street Fighter game. The next one that I played was, I believe, Alpha. And then I finally came to Street Fighter 4, so... The ones that I really did play was probably Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter 2. But, this one, as Maximilian once said, everyone comes has come came to this game and they know it well that's why a lot of people are playing it that's true it very is true this was the first Street Fighter game that I actually played non-stop for about I don't know two weeks before I tried online and back when I started I was not good at online at all so I didn't want to start a series of uh, YouTube videos again so I decided not to I decided to wait and I actually got the game because my Xbox was broken. The disc tray didn't work, so I bought it on demand. And now the video, now the game, now the Xbox is fixed. But I still play this game to this day, as you know that. I don't play it as often as other games, but I'm starting to play it more now. I'm starting to play uh, Marvel vs. Capcom as well now. So uh, you'll be seeing videos of that. The first one for the Sega Dreamcast. Um, here, this Aidon player is very Jaguar Tooth Happy and um, Jaguar Kick Happy. So, as you can tell, um, first round doesn't look so good for me. He's hitting me, anti airing me every time I jump in. I'm getting in with some Hadokens, I believe. Hurricane kicked over him. Jumping back and forth. Got him with a Hurricane Kick. Sure, you can dim. Oh, he's got me. He's got me on the run. Right now, I'm gonna. I believe I do. Yeah, sure, you can. I mean, Hadoken and another one. Just to get him off balance. Here he comes, and bam! Hit him with the ultra. Right as he comes, right in my face. And KO for me. I easily won round one. Well, not easily. Barely won round one. And here I am now. That's right, Ken. You barely won that round. Can you do it again? 
So now we're starting off, I'm trying to build up some meter by using some hurricane kicks and some Hadokens. He's got me in a combo, four hit I believe. I hit him with the uh, strong shore, you can sweep him. Just doing some pokes here and there, trying to get him off balance, trying to get him to mess up, because that's all really, that's what the combo strategies videos taught me. If you play aggressively, and your opponent's losing, they're gonna start playing more aggressively as well. So you wanna never ever let them have a chance to get you in an attack. You wanna always keep pushing on them, and if they start to lose, they'll play more aggressively, and that's your chance to attack. And there I go with the EX Hurricane Kick, right into his face. End it there with Ken. I do win. There's a Blanca. Uh, this is going back to Maximilian. He seems to know his stuff about fighting games, mostly Street Fighter. So I would assume, over his years of experience, he is correct about the matchup because this was not one of my best matchups. Ken vs. Blanca is not a great one, in my opinion. Uh, another bad one is against Balrog and uh, possibly Jerry. I just can't like I can't read their attacks very well. But this was against a level a B rank. Blanca, actually. Um, we're sli he's sliding around, trying to get around to me. I'm trying to build up some meter, focus attacking. I'm canceling it out, faking him out. Do you want a target combo, a Doken? There's an EX Hurricane Kick, goes right over him. And there's the target combo to Hurricane Kick, and ooh, he gets me with his shock. Ooh. He really gets me with the the vertical roll, and I get him with a Shoryuken. Missed the focus attack. I'm jumping around now, he's trying to vertically hit me, he hits me there. I throw him. Ooh, he gets me with his ultra right here. I'm launched in the air. What's gonna happen now? Pretty sure I throw a Hadouken. EX Hadouken again. Am I gonna do it? Nope, just regular Hadouken. There he is, he's on the ground. Bam, he's done. Round two! This round was kinda tough because I tried to not get cocky, but I guess I did around halfway. But this Blanca player really knew what he was doing actually. Blocking a lot of my attacks, could read me like an open book. So, this round was not my best round. I was winning, I got shocked there. He's about halfway down health, I'm just Hadokening. Trying to get him to jump in to use my ultra. Because I've been doing that lately. I've been baiting people into jumping in. And I know that's really not what you're supposed to do. Well, that's not. You're able to do that online. So, there we go. I beat him with the ultra after focus attacking him. He's done. He's down for the count. We're all good. I bait people into jumping in. Most of the time they jump in on their own will. I don't do anything. They jump in to attack. And bam, wake up ultra. And there we go. They're down for the count. Morning Miss Bay against the Zangief player, huh? Well, this one was another Zangief player that was Lariat happy and decided to start doing the spinning Lariat. He, uh, he was very open. Uh, instead of blocking, he decided to use the spinning Lariat to go through my Hadoukens. Like they, like any Zangief player would do. He used Banishing Fist as well to go through. Overall, he hit me, uh, pretty damn good. There we go, there's the first hit with the spinning Lariat. I'm just, uh, hurricane kicking him, throwing Hadoukens. Am I gonna hit him with my ultra? Nope. Bam! Get him with the uppercut, and then going into my ultra, and a nice, strong Shoryugen. Focus attack him, throw him! Oh, hits me with the Lariat. Not the best option. There we go, jab, jab, and what's gonna happen now? Looks like I'm gonna win this. Oh, hit me with the two low punches, two light punches, and there I'm down for the count. He's clearly run one round one. Round two starts. 
immediately jumps up and hits me. Knew I was gonna do an air uh, an air hurricane kick. There we are. He's got a lot of meter. Got enough for a super. There's his ultra now. His ultra is com almost completely filled. Gets me in his super. Ooh, that does a ton of damage for me. But never fear. I have a sure you can. I get him in. Use the target combo. Ex hurricane kick. And ooh. Jumps in right as I wanted him to. Use the Ultra 1, aka Show You Ripa, and bam, he's down for the count. Round 2 is mine. Final battle. Final round. Round 3. Start off with me doing a Hadouken and then axe kicking him. Seems to read me with the Shoryukens. Uses Banishing Fist. I uppercut him. Have enough for just about one ultra we're hopping around get him with the with the strong sure you can miss the ultra chance he gets me with a spinning pile driver it's, appear, it's clear to me now that I need to change my game right now as I'm on the losing team I'm on the losing defense so I go in and I, I do what I best I do what I can to the best of my ability. Does a spinning lariat, I do my hurricane kick and BAM Get a great comeback from behind. There it is with my victory, Ken wins. BAM. Yes, Ken, you should do better. Next match starts, it's me versus an Akuma player. This is before I was C rank. I'm about a D rank right here. I only have 423 BP, I believe. I was in a white costume because I felt like being in the Ken's white gi. So, match starts off. He starts off with a Hadouken, and I go right into it with my Hurricane Kick. This match is probably not my best match. I'm focused attacking, dash canceling through his projectiles. This match, you're going to see a lot that I have no idea why, but I decided to go through all of his air Hadokens and all of his regular Hadokens. I just, I have no idea why, but I still win the round, though. There I am, strong Shoryuken. There it is, Shoryuken again, and ooh, gets me with the Raging Demon. We're at the Raging Demon. Bam, get him with the Ultra. Nice KO right there. Flaming Shoryu Ripa. Round one is mine, but barely mine. Round two. I'm ready to fight. Going around. Jumping. Getting hit. There we are. Jumping. Ooh. Hits me with his Adoken. I hurricane kick over him. And I hit him with a fierce shore you can go into his her his uh, air Hadoken again. Have no idea why. He's hitting me with everything he's got. He's reading me like a book. He uses his EX Tatsumaki. There he is. Jumping around, trying to get him into the corner. Doesn't really work out. There he is, he teleports. Is the warp. There he is. Back again. Hit, hits me with another Hadoken. I focus cancel into his bad Hadoken. There he is. And I miss my chance with the Ultra. That's great. That is really good. He hits me with the Wrath of the Raging Demon. I'm down for the count. So, round two is, in fact, Master Yoda 04's. He did very well. Round two is going... Round three is not going to be just like round two. I'm going to win round two, and I make sure of it. Starts off with a fierce kick I, to my face, actually. I'm throwing Hadoukens, jumping around, Shoryukening him. Trying to make sure at all possible that he does not build up any meter. I do a strong Shoryuken, focus attack, dash cancel into that, and miss my opportunity. Just throwing Hadoukens like crazy. I'm trying my best not to get caught in them. Do two short jab kicks. 
There we are. Trying to get him into my range. And I finish off with a low shore you can. And there we go. That is the last match for this video. I win it and I win it well. So if you guys want to join me, my gamer tag is scouting heavy. I uh, hope you like this video. Next video will be coming up real short. See ya.